Hey guys, this is a quick video just to talk about the Nifty case and there is a firmware upgrade that you can do with it. If this applies to you, you may have got a, an email from Create Audio and they would have sent you some uh, information. Check this video out, it might help you get through this technical stuff. Create Audio have let me know that they actually developed a new bootloader that uses a different USB protocol, uh, HID instead of Lib USB. And the new bootloader is actually used on their more recent products like the Nifty Keys and Mr. Filter. And they haven't had any reported problems with this without the need for drivers in any operating systems. So it's actually quite a good update to do anyway. Even if it doesn't fix anything, it actually fixes some basic computer-based connectivity. Um, it will also be in use in any future Nifty case and other products like chips and cells, batches. So you probably want to do this update anyway. There is a way to replace the old bootloader and this video will teach you how to do that. So follow the steps and it can be done quite easily and safely with your Mac. Um, I don't have the instructions for Windows in this video, so this is Mac only. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video for Windows. What you're going to need to do, obviously, is you're going to have, your, your nifty case has got to be turned on at the power, and the USB cable here has to be connected to your computer. In my case, I've got a Mac, and we need that to be connected up. Let's head on over to the Mac. And what you're going to do is you've got to run the firmware uploader first, which is under the step one section. Then you select the Nifty Series boot install. What this actually does is this creates a new bootloader on the Nifty case that upgrades the previous bootloader. Once that's done, you'll get the message that it's successfully done. And then you go to step two. So step two, you want to uh, run the, the multi-chip updater. And then you scroll through your step two folder and you choose the nifty case and you click update. And then that's updated your nifty case to the new chip updater. And that will update your device. What it does seem to fix on mine is the volts per octave so it fixes the volts per octave side of things um, when you're using cv and gate via uh, usb um, i found before that it was extremely high pitched and now it seems to fix that so um, yeah if uh, that is helpful to you click a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video